that's not leg day. That's just every day. Oh. What? Leg day is where you're specific. Specifically, you fucking blue. Pacific Islanders. Welcome back to leg day. Are we skipping leg day? Uh, we shouldn't. We should never skip leg day. It always sucks going back to it. Everyone's like, oh, it's fine. I use my legs to walk. And then I'm like, yeah, but you don't use them to lift two children <sighs> from Afghanistan up onto your shoulders every day. But what if you have to oh, one day? <laughs> I'm very thirsty. Could you give me some water? <laughs> Do you guys have any ibuprofen? Stop punching my face, please. <laughs> I need, like, some Tums. I have terrible heartburn. This is why I'm shooting like this. I'm sorry that I'm hitting you accidentally. I'm vomiting. <laughs> It's just a super nice guy. So we're gonna find out um, in a minute, presumably, like what the cliffhanger ending was supposed to be. I guess. Oh my! You didn't you do much. Are you charging that up? Or like, what the fuck? You just pulled that out of nowhere. Huh? You didn't even like take the time to charge up your solar beam. All right, Venusaur, you just did it. <laughs> Be no song. Are we gonna impale the earth again? <laughs> it's the uvula and it's just like <laughs> <laughs> Hold my hair back. <laughs> <laughs> then the giant guy comes up and he's just Grabs the earth and all the water and just <laughs> look at that tootsie. I mean, your toes are gonna be a little burnt. Oh, you found the inner sanctum. You made it to the core. That kind of is like a four meter wide exhaust port, isn't it? Yeah. A little bigger than four meters. That's his, that's his fuck me button, see? Everyone has them. Every boss has a giant glowing fuck me button. <laughs> there it is. Oh, now we're only getting to the commercial break? Shit. Boom, dick, boom, dick, boom. What's gonna happen now? That was, uh, that was the ending right there. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go under the assumption that this is the last episode, maybe. And then, then we have the end, the actual ending. Yeah, probably. But I wonder if it's just if it's just one episode, two episodes. I have, I have no idea. Oh, we're gonna fight the inner essence. It's gonna be like a demon man. He's it's hatching Olga. from he's hatching from his egg. It's fucking Olga. Yeah. See. And he's kind of got the six arm thing like Asura does. Yeah. It's it's his own demons. All I know is pain. He looks like that one dude from Time Splitters. Oh, the, the burning man, guy. The fire man. Yeah. Yeah. I always like playing as him. It's the final boss of Dark Souls 3. Viltrakor. No, his name was Lord of Symmetries or something. Lord of Ember or something. Alright, come on, get out. Let's, let's fucking fight this dude. Let's get this shit over. Oh, he's got a coronavirus core. Look at that. I gotta it. scream first. Yeah. And now we can fight. Now that the screaming is done. I too have six arms. Mine are not as big as yours. Isn't that ironic? So is it the the size of the arm or the the will behind it? It's not the size of the arm. It's what you do with it. It's how you use it. Ho! Oh. 
Get you <laughs> fucking punches. <laughs> How dare you insult me? <laughs> Sorry, I thought it about a joke. It, it was about a camel. <laughs> You think it would be hot to stand on that? Probably. Like if we were there, do you think we would be able to live? But they got tough feet, so whatever. Ouch. Come on, I'm in all the door. Ah, oh, yes, the classic, the classic stand still and let them beat on you constantly. Well, every boss so far has done that, so. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's just the tried and true method. That's how you win all these fights. Yeah, you beat beat them until they're dead. No wonder I why we play this game, but Jesus Christ. No wonder why the fucking uh, the Golma can't win, and no wonder why the seven deities haven't been able to win because their fucking tactics are the exact same. Yeah. I guess technically right now I probably would have one of those triangle prompts, but since I use my heavy attack, like I can't do it. So my wiener, bitch. You can suck my fucking chode. Suck our collective chode. <laughs> I want you to put your lips around my micro peen. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Sir's actually just got a micro peen. That's why he's so angry. <laughs> <laughs> You ever seen baby carrots? <laughs> well, mine's half the size of those. <laughs> Bite it in half. That's me. It's like two Tic Tacs, like stacked next to each other. <laughs> I'm very angry about it. Do you know how hard it was to get Durga pregnant? Very. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> it actually, if anything, it looks like my uh, my friend here, my brother-in-law. <laughs> That'll make it incest. Whatever. <laughs> you know. That's uh, that's what happens sometimes. Oh well, I mean, you know, oh, my arm. Carl Schaefer from Uncharted Two was on to the the micro peen conspiracy. <laughs> so I mean, you know what? I, I do think that that research was not all like for nothing. You know, I'm pretty sure he was on to something there. <gasps> oh come on! It was Tringle last time. You gotta keep it the same button, dudes. <sighs> no, they're gonna make it harder. There's only one point in this entire game where I almost died. That was pretty early on. Yeah. The rest of this has been pretty easy. This guy, I'm kind of just like running straight into his shit. I'm not really paying attention too much. Yeah. But this game is not very punishing. No. Maybe on the harder difficulty it would be more punishing. Maybe. I would assume so. I at least hope so. Oh, I was jumping over shit, and it don't fucking work, man. <sighs> yeah, see, like, all those times when he was doing that shit, I was supposed to do that, but I always would do the heavy attack, so it doesn't work. You know, it's, a. Uh... Alright, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what he's doing half the time. That's why I, like, keep missing those. <laughs> yeah. This... Uh, it's... Azura's Wrath has... It's so interesting, it. like everything that's happening. Yeah. But then once you're actually playing it and all that, it's just kind of like Yakuza. Yeah. Where the fighting is really subpar. Yeah. But then you get all the cool triangle moves that are that's, flashy and stuff like that. That's what makes it, yeah. If it wasn't for those, like the game would be so bland. Yeah, it's like, just like the problem with Yakuza is that the fighting system's pretty shallow and... Yeah, it mo it's mostly revol it like devolves into just being a button masher game. Yeah. Like, which, you can do all these extra cool moves, but you kind of have to go out of your way to do them. Yeah, the, the health bars of the enemies are so, like... They're, they're too large, mm -hmm. so that you have to stand around a lot just mashing. Yeah. The, um, I don't know if you saw it, they have a new Yakuza game. I think it's called, like... Uh, the Dragon Within or something? Yeah, it's something Dragon. I forget what it's called. But I haven't looked into it much, but I saw um, a review of it. And it's weird because they actually have... It's turn-based combat in this game instead of it being real-time, which is different. That might be good. 
It looks alright. I'm probably going to wait and get it on a sale. I'm not going to buy it right away. But, it's interesting. What does that dog want? No. No. You can't come in here. Not right now. You're going to pop your head again? <laughs> yeah, she did that earlier. <laughs> She's doing it right now. Oh, shit. Oh. Ow. Oh. Mash I'm mashing. Come on, snail, mash it. Come on, bib. Ugh, fuck. Oh, the cats are... Ow! You know, whenever I see things like this, it reminds me of the uh, uh, Samurai Jack episode where it was... Uh, Pizza, stop it. Oh, wait. All quiet, and he went like to the old house and had like, a curse. I don't remember that. It was, uh, it was a very dark episode. Was it really? Yeah. I haven't. I don't think I ever finished that show. I never watched it like all the way through. I uh, I finished when the, they came out with the new stuff. Oh yeah. It uh, it ends kind of poorly. Oh well. Like it was it was pretty good actually when it came back and all that. Uh huh. Um, but the ending felt a little rushed. And Deus Ex Machina esque. Uh huh. So. Yeah. He did eventually get back to the past. Sweet. Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack. He defeats fucking, uh... A coup? A coup. And, uh... He, uh... He has some sweet, sweet sex. <laughs> Do they show it? No. What the fuck? They should've. Why didn't they? Because it's not a hentai. Make it into one. You see, he uh, he he uh, he get he's getting married to one of Aku's daughters. Oh, uh. that turned good. And well, she was never a bad person, but she was on the wrong side. And then like, they work together and all that. And then Aku, you know, he has like that time travel shit where he goes. Woo! Uh, and then uh, made Jack go into the future. Yeah. Well, uh, the same thing. She has the same powers as him, so she basically made Jack go back in the past, right after Aku made Jack go into the future. Oh. So Jack came back right after Aku did that, and he, Aku was like, "Yeah." Oh fuck! Starts tweaking his nipples, <laughs> and then like Jack comes back, and he's just like, "Hey, what up? <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up." He's already stroking before he got there. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> he was he was ready to go, man. <laughs> and then yeah, he, he fucking kills Aku, and then like. So wouldn't that have affected future Jack then? Yeah, that's the point. Oh. So, he basically, he goes, uh, he's, he go he gets to come home after defeating Aku and all that and, like, rebuild and he's getting married to her. She, she comes up and, like, they're doing the ceremony and then she, like, falls over and then, uh, holds her and she fades away because, well... She would have never been made if Aku right because the parent the had paradox. gotten destroyed. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, it's kind of so Jack still has to go through his whole journey because he inevitably does because right the past is set right and then well that's how any fucking time travel thing is is like you're just experiencing one iteration of that type of thing yeah like, and then know. yeah you he goes back so literally Aku gets killed minutes after the start of the the whole show. That is the ending. But yeah, Jack, it's like, it's Jack like a is weird a different person. Like a weird retcon type thing. Whatever. I mean so what? It's like it, then it's like it's almost like Jumanji or something, you know? Yeah. Where you just you're experiencing like, you know, uh what's his name? The, like the kid like in the game pretty much. And then yeah. the ending is him just getting out of it. <laughs> so, yeah. Kind of similar to that, anyway. It's fun. It's interesting. 
uh, the way it's done, it just kind of like out of the blue kind of shit. Right. So it's like, oh. Uh, Especially considering they left it for such a long time, too, oh, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Where did they? Where did the original iteration of it end? I don't even remember. Two thousand something. But I'm just saying, like story, like story wise, where did it even like leave off? Oh god. Because they never finished it the first time, did they? No, they didn't. Yeah. I don't even remember where. I they don't know. I never watched it all the way. So. I didn't rewatch it before watching the new season. Anyway. How, how much of an impact must this game's ending have if we just start talking about Samurai <laughs> Jack and yeah. stuff? Uh, yeah, the, the Earth is kind of exploded now. But is it, but I'm, like, they said it was supposed to be like a cliffhanger ending. I mean, it's kind of cliffhanger-y. I guess. Unless we went directly into the... Can I skip this? No. Oh, there we Part go. Part three, karma. And karma. Unless that, I mean, I don't know, man. Is that, that's not the end of the game, is it? That can't be the end of the game. It's like, now what's going to happen? What about Olga? She's not dead. Um, what about, you know, like, where, where are they going to live now? Are they just going to live on the fucking ground? This destroyed planet? They never had a fucking post credit sequence in any of that shit, did they? Because I, I just know. skipped it. <laughs> Spider. Where are we? Why, hello there. It's been a while. Do you remember me? Seems you have bested Vlitra. I suppose I ought to congratulate you. The time is finally come. I'm going to enjoy this. So, I never said anything. I'm going to be on the way down. Ta ta. Tatiana. Oh. Is this. That's the. Oh, okay. That's the cliffhanger. I guess. The true thing. Now you have to fight the spider. The story is far from over. For the true ending, you must beat the hidden episode. Okay, how do I unlock the hidden episode? Pay the for hit, it! The hidden episode can be unlocked by achieving an S rank on five or more episodes, or complete 50 or more episodes on any difficulty. I don't know about that, though. What? But I bought the thing. I bought the thing! Did I? Unless I already did that, I must have... I, I feel like I got S rank on a, more than five. We'll have to check... True episode 18, a turn of events. Maybe it just now unlocked? I, I guess. Let's look. Yeah, that, if that were like the actual ending. Yeah, see, look at now, like. Uh, yeah, it said f get S rank on five episodes. Yeah. So I got <coughs> one, two, three. Four, five, six. Yep, I already got it. Seven, eight. I got it on eight. But then there's this part four. So I wonder if this is... I just want oh. this game to be done with at this point. <laughs> this is kind of what I'm getting at. Like, okay, so this is the, the one we just unlocked. It says, Fleetra is the embodiment of the planet's rage. Its animosity threatens to eradicate civilization. Only when it is defeated, when Mother Gaia's... Children finally surpass her, will it all end? Or so it was believed. But now it's just the spider's turn to... Oh, is that why the Gomo were, were evil and shit and fighting all the time? Is because Osura was angry? He was feeding off of his rage? Maybe. So that's why they killed him? True episode 18. Go fuck yourself, game. So, Bullshit. So then there's technically like another... Uh, ending than after this one. There has to be. Well, I've because got episode 19. Bought, yeah. I've got 19. Because that's the one you buy. So then... Could you imagine if we'd gotten to this point without knowing any of that? We're just like, what the fuck, really? Yeah. So this must be like the the cliffhanger ending then that they're talking about. Yeah. Because I feel like that, that last episode was very conclusive, at least in terms of like, oh, the ending is, you know, we defeated the thing, right? Yeah. Hooray, we oh, defeated the no, thing. The gold tries back up and running. Or is this just recounting the the last episode? Grrr. No, because this is no this is, yeah, this is the back of the movies at the start of the fight. Do I have to replay the whole thing again? You might. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding? I did click true episode 18, right? I'm pretty sure you did, yeah. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, no, this is true episode 18. It says it right there. 
You're not gonna make me play the whole game again, like this whole level again, are you? I think it is. It might. It might do like an abridged version or something. I, I don't want to do the whole thing again. Come on. If it, if it's gonna make us play through the whole thing again, we're just gonna do that off camera. I'm not gonna fucking subject everybody through that shit again. <laughs> we'll fucking talk about Samurai Jack more. Air to the Jack. Air to the Jack. So I think they are. They're gonna make me play through the whole thing again. They just it's fucking literally did this. the exact. Nothing's changed yet. As soon as things something changes, we'll fucking turn the camera back on again. I don't know. Well, let's wait. Let's I'm wait until I get fish. control of the game here. I'm a fucking fish. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll be back when we get to something new, I guess. <laughs> Mm-hmm.